Well, we've avoided uh, freeze, so we didn't have to worry about that in the spring. But uh, I think all in all, it's gone very well. The practices have been going well, and you know, having the new practice facility makes all the difference in the world. So uh, I'm very proud of the way the boys came back from vacation. I thought we had uh, a very good learning fall when you have three freshmen that are kind of rotating in and out of the lineup, and then you got Ben and Carson coming back now as sophomores with a lot more experience, and then we got Chris as our captain and our only senior. So uh, what we accomplished in the fall, I hope we're going to expand on that in the spring. I think the freshmen are going to be more relaxed. They know what to expect now when they go to an event. They know a little bit more about me, what I expect, how I coach. Uh, but they've been getting in some really good practice, and that's, what, that's what's going to make the difference. Well, I, I think uh, when, I, when I put this tournament back on the schedule, I, I talked to the boys about it. They had a good time there last year, uh, and by a good time, it was a good trip. They got to see a lot, and, uh, you know, traveling from flying into Vegas and then driving up to St. George is a really pretty drive, and then we got up there, and, you know, the night before the, the second round, it snowed on us, so that was quite a treat. It, it snowed, and then we teed off at 11, and by then, it was kind of like today. It was about 55 and sunny. It was perfect. But I think any time you get to go back to an event where they've got some exposure before, they know what to expect, and they're they're more comfortable, they're relaxed. Uh, I know one thing they like is it's only 18 holes each day, so they don't have to walk 36 holes or even worry about that uh, first event of the spring. So they're looking forward to that. And then, you know, going back this trip, we Chris has been there, Carson's been there, and Ben's been there. So, you know, we're trying to prepare John... Uh, and and Mason for the trip so you know that's that's the big thing is that we make sure we get the other boys that didn't go last year the two freshmen you know we get them tuned in well that's the big thing we we went, actually went to a tournament in the fall up in Atlanta and we got to go by and play around at the tournament site for the A-Sun championship which was really good you know for the freshmen to get to see it the sophomore to see it again. Chris has played it enough times that he knows it. But that was a, a huge, a huge plus for us to get to play there before we go to the A-Sun. Well, without putting too much pressure on Christopher, I don't want to, I don't want to say that I have a lot of expectations. One of the things about Christopher, even from the freshman year on, I never had to push Chris. Chris is always going to put in the work. He's going to practice, and I think where he's matured the most is now he's he's begun to see exactly what we have to do as a team, and he's accepted his role of, you know, he, he kind of goes into every tournament knowing that he, he's probably going to be our low man. He's going to work really hard, and Carson and Mason and the guys come along and chip in and help us. But, you know, Christopher's matured. He's learned a lot about himself, learned a lot about competitive golf, and he's, you know, he's kind of doing a double – double whammy this spring because he's trying to get us in, into the conference we're trying to get ready for conference at the same time he's going to be going to uh, Q school for the Canadian tour in sometime in late March or early April and uh, you know I, so he's got a lot of work that he's trying to get done and he's working hard doing a good job in the classroom and that's where I've really been proud of Christopher he's, he's really worked very hard in the classroom and he's given me as good an effort in the classroom as he gives me out here on the golf course and he's been a good captain good person to be around and it's uh we've had a lot of fun and i'm, I'm gonna miss him next year and he's gonna miss us too but it's you know I, I think the biggest thing is just let christopher go out and play golf i don't want him to feel like i expect him to shoot 67 68 any of that stuff just go play golf take what you get and enjoy it you know enjoy the last semester you have in college because you don't get to do this again this we all know that he's he's over and it's just like it's just like he came here last week and now it's done so it's amazing how fast four years goes by but he'll be fine so i think he'll do good in this tournament too he likes the golf course yeah at the end of the fall um end of the spring like i had went down to naples for a few weeks so i got to play a lot of good golf with some of my buddies um who play at miami ohio kent state marshall so um, got to keep the competition up, although I didn't play in a tournament. But um, I mean, it's nice to play with those guys, learn from what they're doing, and get better with them. Um, it seems like yesterday I was just a freshman, and I remember doing an interview with you uh, right after qualifying for the first tournament. So, um, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. It's gone by fast. Um, I didn't believe it when anybody would tell me that, but I'm going to miss it a lot. Yeah, it's always nice going to a tournament uh, at a course you've already played before. Um, last year I didn't have my best stuff. But I'm looking forward to 
I'm getting out there. I'm hitting it well right now. I'm just getting some few things in order uh, for a big couple weeks. And um, it's a golf course that's scorable for all of us. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what we can do. Hopefully we do a little bit better than last year. Um, if we play, if we do our thing, I think we can win the golf tournament. Uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff with my mental coach. Um, just trying to get some things in order, keep my head straight. Um, I got a busy spring. Um, just with school, golf, and uh, just trying to get into that professional mindset, see what I can do this summer. Um, but right now my focus is uh, these four or five tournaments that we got going on, um, and I think we're just going to try to make the most of it.